Hello beautiful people from YouTube, my name is Monia and today we're talking about Beautiful Bachelor by Christina Lauren. Now, I love this series. The first series that I, I read, something like that, I read Pretty Shade of Grey first. And then I found this series that I am in love with. The is about Bennett, Bennett Ryan and Corey Mills. Benny Ryan was in Paris for a year and he finally coming home and he working with his parents. Now, um, is they having Christian Grey um, work, you know how to say Grey work, the building, but the building called Ryan, um, the Latin or the family. So he is the boss of Cory Mills. Cory Mills is an intern on the work, so she needs to have um, a prince to work, something like this. And they hate each other. They don't like each other one bit. She, she called her a bitch, and he, she called him a bachelor. Now he got rid of a bachelor. Um, basically, throughout the whole. So, at the beginning of the book, she is late for a job. Bennett Ryan don't like to be late. He is very on point. He do like to have nobody late. Everybody needs to be there on time. If somebody late, then get mad. Well, he get mad, not them. He get mad because you late. So for the first time, Corey is late for the very first time, and Bennett is not happy about it. Bennett says you need to be here on time. He may a bit to you. Basically, he said to tell. Her, um, you need to be, since you were late, an hour late, so you need to make up that time. So you need to say an hour later, then you leave. So she does, and that well, it begins. So, so right then at the, at the office, Bennett Ryan made a pass at Cody Mills and basically she didn't got panic or anything and then she did and she take off and it's so funny you punch her down and she did take off and what I love about this series that it have his point and she point of you so every other chapter you Heal Bennett side, and then the other chapter you heal Cory side. So that what I love about this book. Um. So that what I love about it, and also, so. Um. So they got together. She got. She didn't got mad, but she just. Run away with her pants down and take off. So the next day she was freaking out. We are like, is he didn't say something? Am I didn't get fired? Am I, you know, she did panicking about her job. And she can't lose that job. She can't lose it because it's an internship. So by the early set month, she need to present a what they call it like a project about what she learned working for Bennett Ryan something like that so you know she you know lose it you know whatever so she take off to the next day Bennett Ryan was freaking out she he thinks oh my god is she gonna tell my dad with the dad is the main bit boss 
at the job at the company. So, um, I know what she does is she grab a piece of, like, um, a receipt to, let's say, Victoria's Secret. But it have a different name. It like La Polo. I never heard of that brand. So it kind of like Victoria's Secret. So when it why you get mad and be like, why are you using your credit card from your work to buy underwear? Basically, because you like to rip stuff. And, um,. Yeah, so it didn't get together, and nobody knows that they're together. Then they, they hate each other. They don't want to be together, but somehow they're always together. Um, they always say, no, we can't, but in the end of the day, they can get together. But... Then Bennett, Wyatt, and Cody Mills got put in a test. So then both need to go to Chicago. No, then from Chicago. So they need to go to New York for a job. So Cody Mills need to go be the air part of her internship at her college, I believe. Yeah. So she need to go with Bennett. Bennett. So um, she does. And basically, they get together. And they need to go to meetings and everything. So he goes and she says, some of the meetings, she need to be there. Because she needs to take notes. That's what she does for Bennett. She take notes. For him, but he listens. So, um, they meeting, they went out to dinner, so Corey can't go. Only the main boss is like Bannon and the other boss that joined the, they ain't buying stuff. So they need to sell some, some buildings or something like that. Um, and, um, so they went out to dinner, and they were then they talk about it the next day. But during that time, late at night, he got so sick by the seafood. They ate seafood, and he got sick. So he couldn't go to the meeting. He couldn't. And it's too many. So Kobe. Benny told Chloe, you need to go. I can go, go and tell them, give whatever you think that we need to do, then tell them. So that's what she does. She tells them what, what things that they need to be changed, that you need to add, you know, talk like that. And since she was intern, he didn't want it to sign the papers yet and everything. So, so he get the paper. She gave him the paperwork, and she went back to the hotel and told Bennett what had happened. And she seemed so happy when she told him because it is the first time doing it without Bennett because. Bennett is always there doing the means. So this is the first thing that he's not there. So she felt happy, excited that she's doing something big like for the job. So the next day, Bennett and the guy, I think he called, what's his name? Gigi? Can't wait that I think it called Gigi, the early guy name. Um basically she overheard him told told Gigi. So Ben and told Gigi, No, don't worry. Um I'll call you don't want to sign the papers because I'm not there. So I didn't 
that you the paperwork where you sign it and then you could give it back to me. And Chloe didn't like that because Bennett Ryan called her a kid. And she didn't like that one bit. And we are like a kid, you know. She was crying. I mean, she felt so bad. And they were freaking out because she was crying. He never seen her cry. Now, because she is so tough that nothing could make her cry. And the next day, she could. And the, the brother and the dad were very, very mad at Bennett, saying what you did, what, you know, what happened. And they are like, we together, we, we dating. And they are like, what, how long this been going on? Oh, we did try dating when we were in New York. We did make it official. And then during the other time, they are like, during the other time, they are like, we did been messing around, not doing nothing. So, so during that time when they were apart, they weren't were eating, they were losing weight because they were so depressed. And then Bennett finally have the guts to go see her at a job. We are done. I am so sorry about what I did to you. I didn't mean it. And here is, you know, so can we get together again? So basically, they got back together. And the family, his family, was so happy with a damn love, love Chloe like a daughter. They love her. So they all back together. And everybody is so happy. I mean, I didn't tell you every single detail because you need to read the book. But it is so good. I gave it a 5 out of 5 songs because I in love with it. But um, the next book, the second book that I didn't read is Beautiful Bitch, which I cannot wait to um, read and talk about because it's been a long time since I read it. And it's pretty cool with it. That one says, in the back, it says, The next 50 shade of gray. So, that's what it says. And then that one, that one says, Um, I didn't say it right here. That one says, The S. Oh, sorry. Yeah, as you see when, um, so I bought the book by the author that says, wait, you know, this is the book. This is the fourth book. So the, the first book is Thoughtless, and this one is like, Fifty to gray and gray. So that would be like gray, the guy point of view. So I will read that soon, but not yet. So Fire the Price Souls, in love with the book. You should read it. I love it. It is funny. It is goofy to me, like goofy, funny, and romantic at the same time. I love it. I give it a fire fire song, like I said. And I tell you what I think about this one when I read it next. So thank you for watching. Bye.